Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. I went to the gym this morning and when I got home, I fell asleep. But I woke up because I promised you guys to finish this haul. But before I do, I want to address a couple things. This came from Shein, not Timu, even though this is a Timu haul. But I just wanted to come on to say that I sweated like a mother ever in these clothes. They were not like, it was very bad for my sensory, that's all I can say. And then when I came home and I fell asleep in it, and then every time I woke, like if I had my hands on my chest, it would like feel like sweaty here from this vinyl stuff. So I don't know. It's comfortable and everything. It's just, I'm not used to the material because of my sensory. I don't really like anything touching my arms. So I wear tank tops like 95% of the time. I just wanted to try something new, but I'm just, for people that are out there that have sensory, just keep it in mind that you're not gonna like this vinyl feeling. I'm gonna wash it soon and then but I'm not gonna dry it because of this. I'll just hang it to dry, and then I'll let you know if it feels a little better after it's been washed. The second thing is I asked Timo for a refund on this charger. This It's a magnetic charger. So as soon as you go like this, it just clicks right on. But every time I plug it into my phone, it will not hold charge. It'll say charging, not charging, charging, not charging, charging, etc. So like, I'm very disappointed that it didn't, it wouldn't keep a charge. And then I asked my friend because she got the exact same charger and she said the exact same thing happened to her. So I don't advise on getting these magnetic ones. And I really need a charger because these chargers, I even have a little bit of tape on it trying it so I don't get electrocuted or anything. But every single time I buy these kind of chargers, my end wants to snap right off. So yeah, I think this one's going in the garbage today. I have another brand new one up in the cupboard. And I like this one because it's 10 feet long. I'm just going to plug in my phone so I don't die while we're recording and then i i did not ask for a refund but i had a problem with these beads and it's my fault because i didn't read the description properly i went to go make a bracelet with these beads and they got no holes in them like why in the hell are they selling beads with no holes like what are you gonna use with them I, want, I might throw them away, but if anybody out there beats or uses beats for anything, let me know what you would use these for because there's no hole. And my friend's like, just drill a hole. And I'm like, how am I going to drill a hole in those little tiny two and three millimeter beads? That ain't happening. <laughs> You'd need a super tiny, um, You'd need a super, super tiny um, drill bit, that's for sure. But, so let's get on with our haul. I already hauled that. That's just the shoelaces. So this is the next thing I have, and it's, um, oh, I'm calling it a screen protector. It doesn't say what it is, but I'm calling it a screen protector. And it's for my Fitbit Versa 2. And every time I walk to the bathroom or something in the middle of the night, I'm always banging my watch off door jams and stuff because it's dark, you know, middle of the night. So let's see, how do we put this on? So the button's on that side. So what are you going to squeeze it on? I know, I know, I don't need no payments. <laughs> um, just trying to get it on. Get 
you down. Okay, there we go. I don't want to set up wallet. So there it is with the screen protector on. I find um, it's a little bit difficult to press the button, but I'll get used to it. Yeah, it's getting better. So yeah, I'm very satisfied with that. It turned my <laughs> pink Fitbit into a black one, but that's okay. I'd rather protect the screen than the color. So I call that a win. The next thing I got is a strap from my watch. I'm not gonna, I don't know. Maybe I will put it on now. I just don't wanna like waste all my time trying to fidget around with this stuff. So when you change your strap, there's a little pin in the back and you just push it, like the pin is there, you're pushing it this way and then your strap just pops right off. And that pin will never, oops, it's too low. And that pin will never come off. It's always gonna be on there, see, on this side. And these things move, but they don't come off. And then same with the other side. Just push it and pull it off. I got a size large strap because even though I don't fit the large, it's too big. Um, I'd rather have it to be too big than too small. So when you put the strap back on, you have to make sure that your pin is lined up with this hole. So see how the, it's on the wrong side? So the strap goes on the other side like this, right? Yeah, it goes like this, I'm sorry, yeah. See how the pin and that little line line up? So you just put it in one side and then you push that thing down and you click it in. Sometimes I get it on the first try, sometimes I don't. Wiggle it around, make sure it's tight. Oh, I love the color of this strap. Oh my God, purple is my jam. And then put this side on. I was really nervous the first time I took the straps off my watch, but now I'm enjoying it. <laughs> and I might get a different color straps so I could um, coordinate with my outfits. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be stubborn, does not wanna go in. I'll try one more time and if I don't get it, then we'll move on because I don't want to um, keep you guys. Yeah, I'll put it on later. Okay, the next thing I got is this little container that holds needles. And I bought it because I want to peyote stitch it. So when I'm done, I'll show you guys when I'm done. But this will all be beaded all the way around. And then you open it up. Oh, screws for a very long time. Where are the needles? Oh, the needles are still in here. Oops. Just want to put the garbage on the floor so that I'm not mixing it up with my stuff. Because I'm dropping everything. But yeah, these needles look kind of big. I probably will not bead with these. But you just take the needles off this little card and you stick them in this little jar. Um, I need to backtrack a little bit though. The, the Fitbit screen protector costs $6.18 and the Fitbit strap, this strap, costs $7.68 and I say it in every video, I'm in Canada so my prices are a little bit higher than what you guys would pay in the United States. So yeah, hmm, now I'm 
Okay, the 16 piece needle set was $1.98. Not bad because I only wanted the case. I don't care about the needles. I buy special super skinny needles for uh, beading. So um, this thing, I'm gonna probably do a separate video on this, but this is, I charged it up last night, but I'm still a little scared to use it. But I call this like an imitation or a Timu version of the Dr. Ho machine thingy. You have one, two armbands. So you would stick them on your arm like that. And then there's like little button things there. And then there's button things here. So you would take those two little buttonholes and click that on there. And then it's, it's supposed to like go like that. And it's supposed to take away pain. And then this one is for abs. So you stick it on your belly. So when I went to the gym today, I told my trainer that I was not gonna, um, well, my trainer wasn't there. I told my friend that um, I wasn't gonna do the ab machine today because I wanted to test this thing out and see if it worked. Cause it says start burn, start fat burning. But then when you look inside the booklet, it says, I gotta turn this way so I can read it. Relieving symptoms for tighten shoulder, waist, and back. So, I don't know if it means that it's for like pain management. But yeah. I'll do a separate video. Like I'm gonna do it first by myself to like, I don't wanna like scream and say, ah, talk to me or anything like that. Um, and then I assume you just push this button that says start. I don't wanna do it because I don't know what kind of <laughs> shocks or anything that's gonna come out of this. But you got one, two of them for your arms. And then you got one for your abs. And then I thought this was the coolest charger ever. And I said that even if I don't like that machine, I fucking, oops, sorry, I like to swear. Um, I absolutely love this charger because it's one USB and then all three of the chargers are connected to that one USB. So I can charge all three of those mach machines at the same time. So yeah, my trainer has one and she says it's excellent. So we'll soon see. I'm just gonna move this stuff over there. So we're not crowding, we're not crowding this area because it's very difficult when everything's crowded. Okay, so the next thing I got, oh, I'm happy for these. Oh, for that um, muscle stimulator machine, it was $16.88. So this one is, hmm, I think it's the wrong, um, yeah, I didn't get that order yet. I might have to go back. Yeah. This is called Weighted Balls Ropeless Skipping Rope. So there's, I don't know if you guys seen my hula hoop, but it's, it's similar. I have a hula hoop with these weighted balls on there. These balls are not heavy at all, like not at all. And then, cause I'm clumsy and chubby, I don't, I'll trip on a skipping rope. So I'm just gonna use these for exercising. And I don't have to worry about tripping on a rope. 
So yeah, I really like those. And they were $4.04. .04. I'm going to put those in my gym bag. I even take my hula hoop to the gym. <laughs> so fun. And they say that the hula hoop is um, every 30 minutes that you use the hula hoop is um, equivalent to two miles of running. So these are the jewelry pliers that I needed for making hoop earrings. It has brown, it's a brown nose plier. So um, you would take it and like loop wires around the round nose. And these pliers are $4.04, which is a good price because they're like $15 on Amazon. The next thing I got is for my my grandson. He's three years old. And these glasses are for blocking the blue light on his iPad and stuff. So yeah, they're pretty big. Yeah, I do notice a difference when I put them on. Like the screen is not as bright maybe. I don't know. But they're supposed to block the blue lights from your uh, devices. Uh, I'm gonna keep that little case so that he doesn't scratch up his lenses. And when he comes for a visit again, I'll insert a little picture of him wearing them. And this, I ordered twice. I didn't know, I'm like, oh my God, didn't I just order those? But I could sell them to other crafters or I could make a hundred pair of hoop bearings for a craft show or something. But yeah, let's um, let's check out, um, I've never made hoop bearings, so <laughs> it's gonna be fun to figure out. But it says a hundred hoops. I didn't open the other one yet, so I didn't know if they're all connected because yeah, it looks like they're all connected. So they just, they must mean just like a hundred circles around, which is a good price for $3.37. I'm just trying to find the end of it so I could, uh, so you would take the jewelry pliers and you would use it to manipulate it into making a, a little end or something. Close it together. I'm just rushing, but I'd probably do a better job, but you just use the pliers to loop them around. And then you could hang on them or whatever. I think I'm gonna have to also get a pair of wire cutters. So I think that might be my next order because I don't know. Oh no, never mind. There's wire cutters on here. So yeah. <laughs> I was gonna cut a piece off to show you guys and it went whoof, right across the room. So if you do, Use the wire cutters. <laughs> Make sure you have something guarding it from flying across the room. But yeah, I'm satisfied with that. The next thing I got is some little containers to put my beads in for the diamond painting or for beadwork. But I specifically bought it for diamond painting because right now I'm using like old pill bottles and. I just want something like more um, trying to think of the word um, I just found my feet my feather I've been losing this is what peyote stitch is so that's what I'll be beading around that 
needle holder box thingy. So yeah, I'll be making it like that, but it'll be a little bit bigger. Um, more uh, pretty, I guess. It doesn't look so nice when you have like 15, 20 pill bottles and <laughs> lying around. Oh, the next thing I got is my favorite color. I'm excited for this because they say that sleeping with um, a satin pillowcase or a satin bonnet, which what this is, will stop you from getting split ends. And it also has like an elastic on here. So if you have a small head, like if my grandson wanted to use it, you could make it smaller. If you got a big head like me, you can make it bigger. One, it'd be so funny to wear this at, uh, at the pool for aqua fit. <laughs> Some people have like swim caps on there. But yeah, it's just a bonnet in purple, my favorite color. I'll be wearing that to bed tonight for sure. And that bonnet, did I have? Um, the diamond painting, diamond painting box thingy. Oh, $4.48 for that diamond painting box. And it has 28 little squares in there. And the bonnet was, holy shit, it was only 87 cents? Holy shit. I only paid 87 cents for this. Like, oh my God, what are you Americans paying? Like 20 cents? Holy, I'm shocked. <laughs> Like 87 cents doesn't even pay for the material, let alone the labor to make it. So what are they doing? Making the kids make them or something? Oh. I hope not. The next thing I got is a remote control cover for my Roku remote. I have a Roku remote and it has the volume on the side. So I got the one with the open on the side. And they say that this is supposed to go in the dark, but I'm not sure. I'll, um, oh, I love it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, now it's not gonna slip out of my hand because it has a nice grip on there. Oh my God, I love it. Oh. It kind of doesn't line up perfectly with the um the volume and the mute button. So yeah, even when I try to manipulate it, it doesn't it doesn't line up perfectly, but it's good enough for me and Grayson because Grayson's the only one that watches that TV. And that remote cover was $3.48. The next thing that I have, we're almost done guys. Oh my God, I'm so happy. It took, a, it took me two days and three videos to unbox this. But this is just a bandana headband. Simple little headband, it costs $1.79. I gotta take my glasses off for a second. But yeah. It's cute. I like, I love having headbands now that my hair is growing in. I shaved my head a year ago when I was sick. And it's, this is how much has grown back since April, 2022. And the next, Thing I got. I'm also excited for this because 
As a lot of you know, I'm ADHD and I can't sit still for the life of me. It's a little bit tight. I want to see if I can adjust it. Oh yes, you can adjust it. But it's a, it's a fidget ring. Oh my God, I love it, but I, but I won't be allowed to wear it at work. And the flower spins. Can you guys see that? So when I'm like somewhere and I feel all fidgety, I have, a, I can spin my flower. I can't wait to show that to Sandy now. Okay, and the next thing I got, I got two of them. And I could have really used these after the gym today. My legs were really sore, even though I had my compression socks on. Oh my God, these are huge. <laughs> I hope they fit me, they should. But anyways, you put that on your knee and then you take these straps and you wrap it around like that. I'll put one pair on, one, one of them on. I don't know if it matters like which way is up or down. Hmm. I'm gonna say this way is up because the this part is wider than this part. So yeah, I'm gonna try it on real quick for you. Yeah, I should have got a smaller size. They're a little bit big, but maybe once I put the straps around it, it'll tighten up. I don't even know how to do this. Oh. Why is that not sticking? Oh, my, I'm so dumb, oh my God. I was trying to put it on and it wouldn't stick and I didn't realize that you have to pull the Velcro up like that. Uh, why is this not working the way I want it to work? Okay, but yeah, let me see if you guys could see it now. Let me try and angle the camera down a little bit. I can't angle it too much until I get my tripod fixed. But there it is on my knee. It actually feels really good and I feel like putting the other one on now because this leg is sore and now this one's like, feels so good so yeah I'll probably wear these at the gym because that's where I why where and why I get the all the pain in my legs because my trainer made me lift 373 pounds one day with my legs it's like twice my weight so yeah these were they had these at showcase I think they were like 10 bucks there and then I got these ones for four eighty seven each so it's like eight eight fifty nine bucks for two of them and then I will not I I'm 99% sure I will not be trying this on for you guys. Um, if I do, I'm going to wear a bathing suit underneath it. I bought this for a photo shoot. But nobody, my photo shoot is not for three months. And then this, I'm going to wear this as my reward for doing three months at the gym. But this is the bralette part. And then this is the panty part. I wish I had a boyfriend. And then I'd be like, oh, look at my sexy lingerie. But yeah, I'm not trying this on. Unless I have a bathing suit underneath. I'll let you guys know at the end of the video. And... 
This was $9.44 for both pieces. I got it in a size 2XL and the material is 90% polyester and 10% I cannot say that next word starts with an E right there it's probably blurry because you guys probably can't even see it either elastane that's what it sounds like it says um, the stitching looks good there's no loose threads um, Stitching looks really good on it. It's not like cheaply made like Wish used to have. Stop crying. I'm trying to do a video, please. And this is the last item. Finally, we got through the whole haul. Oh my God. Thank you for having patience with me, guys. But this is another outfit for the gym. And it's a one piece. <laughs> I'll definitely try this one on for you. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe it ties in the back. I don't know. Um, I got it in. I got it in a 2XL, which is my size. It's a 16. And it's 95% polyester and 5% spandex. This one has washing instructions too. This is wash 30. I don't know what that means. Wash 30. And then do not iron. I mean, do not bleach. Um... Oh, I think that 30 means cold water because it says machine, wash, cold, gentle cycle, do not bleach, tumble, dry, low, low iron if needed, dry, clean, gentle cycle. Made in China. But yeah, I'll try this on for you too. The stitching is good on this too. Like it's not all wonky or anything. That's the stitching and that's the side stitching. So yeah. I'll try this stuff on for you and and then we'll call the video a day until my next one comes. On Friday it said that my next one was in Mississauga, Ontario. So it should be here Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. So I hope you enjoyed my videos. Like, subscribe, comment, and I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Bye. Peace. So this is the purple one. Um, it fits. It's not as snug as I would have liked it, but it's fine. As I lose weight at the gym, um, I'll just get a size 14 next time. But yeah, for now, it's there's nothing wrong with it. I like it. I'll probably use it for lounging around the house too. There's the back. I had a difficult time trying to um, tie it. So yeah, I don't go to the gym to lose weight or get ripped. I'm going to the gym because I'm a severe diabetic and I almost lost my life last year to diabetes. And that's what my, this is what this is. It's a sensor and when i need to check my sugars now i just grab my phone and ding i don't have to finger poke anymore but yeah i like this and it was worth the ooh, da, 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 how much did i pay for this Oh, $13.49 for this romper. Um, I'm going to try on the other thing if it fits. Um, it might not fit because I don't know if I sized down in that. No, I didn't. 
um, but I'll just try it on over this so that you guys are not seeing the purple. I'll be right back. And this is the lingerie set. Just pretend this is skin and pretend this is skin. Okay, it's a little bit big right here. So I think I would size down. I might size down and get another one in red. So I really like, I really like the, I don't know, I call it a racer back. I don't know what it's actually called, but I like that kind of style in my bras. I, I don't like things touching my skin, so that's why I like tank top -y kind of stuff. But um, maybe if I lost a little bit of this belly bulge that I might wear this to the gym with a pair of shorts, not the underwear. <laughs> no, that's a big no-no. Probably get kicked out if I wore that. But yeah, for the ten, the, for the under ten bucks for it, it's better than going to La Senza and paying forty bucks for the same kind of suit. But anyways, thanks for watching my channel and have a great day. Peace.